The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made, and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading is a reading from the book of Isaiah. Shout out, do not hold back. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Announce to my people their rebellion, to the house of Jacob their sins. Yet day after day they seek me and delight to know my ways, as if they were a nation that practiced righteousness and did not forsake the ordinance of their God. They ask of me righteous judgments. They delight to draw near to God. Why do we fast, but you do not see? Why humble ourselves, but you do not notice? Look, you serve your own interests on your fast day and oppress all your workers. Look, you fast only to quarrel and to fight and to strike with a wicked fist. Such fasting as you do today will not make your voice heard on high. Is such the fast that I choose, a day to humble oneself? Is it to bow down and the head like a bulrush and to lie in sackcloth and ashes? Will you call this a, a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? Is not this fast the fast that I choose? To loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke. Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house? When you see the naked, to cover them and not hide yourself from your own kin. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicators shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove the yoke from among you, the pointing of the finger, the speaking of evil, and your, if you offer your food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness and your gloom be like the noonday. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your needs in parched places, and make your bones strong. And you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters never fail. Your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations. You shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets to live in. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is his mercy great upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us, as a father cares for his children. So does the Lord care for those who fear him, 
for he himself knows whereof we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said, Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for they have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But... Whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust consumes and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. The name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I am at this point on this... Excuse me, actually, it's Fat Tuesday today. It's not even uh, Ash Wednesday. We're, we're pre-recording this streamed service so that it coincides with our 5.30 service tomorrow. So I will say that at this point, one day before Lent, on Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras Day, my favorite day of the year, I am already tired of Lent. I am. I'm tired of it. Because, you know, like, what? This time last year, in February of last year, um, we were just getting back from the SEEP conference. We were just getting ready for um, uh, uh, the, the Celtic Mass that uh, we play every year at St. Patrick's Day. We were just getting ready for that, and COVID hit. COVID hit. We were instructed to shut everything down. And you know what? For me, Lent, Lent really kicked into high gear then. And so it has been 55 weeks of physical distancing, 55 weeks of staying separate from other people, 55 weeks of not gathering with large groups of people, 55 weeks where at some point, at some point in almost every single day, if not at some point in every single week, we have each been reminded of our mortality and of the dangers in this world. Whether it's been the random phone calls home that some of you have received, I I mean, I got one where it was like uh, the phone call came in and it was literally... Uh, Your daughter's being escorted outside of the building. She's been exposed to COVID. You need to pick her up. To the weeks and weeks and weeks and months of distance learning that has been hard on families. To the teachers who have given so much and worked so hard 
to doctors and nurses and healthcare providers and first responders. It has been 55 weeks of pivoting, of trying our best, being surrounded by this thing that is called COVID. In 55 weeks of a period of Lent. In some ways, I mean, 55 weeks, Lent's 40 days. I mean, we've done, at this point, if I do the math, we've done like eight years worth of Lent in one year. And so I came to a realization this morning. In the funeral service and in the Ash Wednesday service, there is a line, a line where in the funeral service it goes like this. Remember that you were formed of the earth, and to earth shall you return. And it's very similar to the line in the Ash Wednesday service that says, remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. In the funeral liturgy it goes on to say, all of us go down to the dust, all of us go down to the grave, yet even at the grave we make our song, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. And in that, this year, I find hope. The truth is, we will put the Alleluias away in our liturgy. But I will not in this year where we've had so many of our members get sick, put the Alleluia away in my heart. Instead, I will remember that the funeral service, just like this Ash Wednesday service, is part of the great Alleluia of Easter, in which Penitent sinners are returned to the fold in which we remember our mortality, but remember that even at the grave, we are surrounded by the love of God. This year, as COVID vaccines are going, as the amount of people receiving the COVID vaccines are going up, as a present positive is coming down, as our church plans to reopen for inside and in-person worship, as we seek to live in to the next, the next Easter and to the spring, I will be penitent. I will ask God's forgiveness for the things that I have done wrong in my life, the things done and undone, I will pray. I will seek to take on a spiritual practice and to do something, some things better. But I will not give up that alleluia in my heart. After 55, 55 weeks of this, I'm looking forward to Easter. This is a very different Ash Wednesday sermon for me. But then again, it's a very different Ash Wednesday for all of us and for our church. We will put on the mantle of penitence. We will pray, we will also seek, seek to serve God and seek to move to that horizon where we can safely regather again. Amen. Amen. Dear people of God, the first Christians observed with great devotion the days of our Lord's passion and resurrection, and it became the custom of the church to prepare for them 
by a season of penitence and fasting. The season of Lent provided a time in which converts to the faith were prepared for holy baptism. It was also a time when those who, because of notorious sins, had been separated from the body of the faithful, were reconciled by penitence and forgiveness and restored to the fellowship of the church. Thereby, the whole congregation was put in mind of the message of pardon and absolution set forth in the gospel of our Savior and of the need which all Christians continually have to renew their repentance and faith. I invite you, therefore, in the name of the church, to the observance of a holy Lent, by self-examination and repentance, by prayer, fasting, and self-denial, and by reading and meditating on God's holy word. And to make a right beginning of repentance, and as a mark of our mortal nature, let us now kneel before the Lord, our maker and redeemer. Almighty God, you have created us out of the dust of the earth. Grant that these ashes may be to us a sign of our mortality and penitence, that we, re that we may remember that it is only by your gracious gift that we are given everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Now remember that I am dust, and to dust I shall return. Most holy and merciful Father, we confess to you and to one another and to the whole communion of saints in heaven and on earth that we have sinned by our own fault in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not forgiven others as we have been forgiven. Have mercy on us, Lord. We have been deaf to your calls to serve as Christ served us. We have not been true to the mind of Christ. 
We have grieved your Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us, Lord. We confess to you, Lord, all our past unfaithfulness, the pride, hypocrisy, impatience of our lives. We confess to you, Lord, our self-indulgent appetites and ways, and our exploitation of other people. We confess to you, Lord, our anger at our own frustration and our envy of those more fortunate than ourselves. We confess to you, Lord, our intemperate love of worldly goods and comforts, and our dishonesty in daily life and work. We confess to you, Lord, our negligence in prayer and worship, and our failure to commend the faith that is in us. We confess to you, Lord. Accept our repentance, Lord, for the wrongs we have done, for our blindness to human need and suffering, and our indifference to injustice and cruelty. Accept our repentance, Lord. For all false judgments, for uncharitable thoughts towards our neighbors, and for our prejudice and contempt towards those who differ from us. Our repentance, Lord. For our waste and pollution of your creation and our lack of concern for those who come after us. Accept our repentance, Lord. Restore us, good Lord, and let your anger depart from us. Favorably hear us, for your mercy is great. Accomplish in us the work of your salvation. That we may show forth your glory in the world. By the cross and passion of your Son, our Lord. Bring us with all your saints to the joy of his resurrection. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desires not the death of sinners, but rather that they may turn from their wickedness and live, has given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardons and absolves all those who truly repent with sincere hearts and believe his holy gospel. Therefore, we beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things which may please him, which we do on this day, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who was tempted in every way as we are, yet did not sin. 
By his grace, we are able to triumph over every evil and to live no longer for ourselves alone, but for him who died for us and rose again. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself, and when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, our only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is the blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ, Christ has is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also, that we may faithful rec faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be, thy, be name. thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will, will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let, let us keep, keep the, the feast. feast.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, Have mercy on, us. on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, Have mercy on, us. on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant, Grant us, us your peace. peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, you have graciously accepted us as living, as living members of your, your Son, our, our Savior, Savior, Jesus Christ, Christ. and you, you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament, sacrament of his body and blood. And blood. Send, Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Grant, most merciful Father, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.